Good kitty, Emmett. It's a good kitty. Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the vintage girl next door. My name is Lacey and today, as you can see, we're gonna take a look at my vintage luggage collection. There is a reason for this. I am actually packing to go on a trip and I thought, what better time to show you my vintage luggage and how I pack for a vintage vacation. In my last video, you saw that I recently had a birthday on April 30th. So for my birthday, I am going on a girl's trip to Las Vegas. So I'm super excited and I'm gonna be gone for five days. So I thought it would be fun to show you what I pack and how I pack it in my vintage luggage. If you are excited to see my vintage suitcases in action and see how I pack all of my things inside them, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. All of the vintage luggage that I've acquired has just been thrifted or given to me by friends, which is wonderful. I think the most I've paid for any of these pieces was maybe $10. So they are out there. You can find vintage luggage if you keep your eye out. Facebook Marketplace would be a, a good place to start or just your local thrift stores. That's where I found most of mine. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what these look like inside and then we're gonna pack for a fun trip. This first suitcase, I believe, is 1940s, probably late 40s. And I got this one at an antique store here in town. It is in really good shape for its age. The inside is a really, really pretty kind of orangey rust color. It has these two pockets up top and then pockets along the sides. And then it has these straps. I think that it had a buckle at one time there, but the buckles are now gone. It says town on it, and unfortunately I don't have the key to any of these. I wish it was still with them. And then this is the matching train case that goes with that suitcase. And this one is in really good shape as well. The mirror is intact, which is wonderful. And then it has these plastic like straps that are adjustable so you can kind of like put bottles or whatever in there and then it has a snap so you can snap it tight. This one is in a little bit of rougher shape. Price tag still on it from thrifting. It was $4. And it is a Samsonite. I like the little kind of etching designs on it. And then the interior is really pretty on this one. I like that icy blue. And it has kind of this, kind of like an accordion type situation going on at the top there. And then it's got the two pockets and the straps with the buckle. And closes like so. I can maybe, I think I'm gonna try to clean this one with the magic eraser and see if I can get some of those scuffs off. And this one is also Samsonite. That's what most of my vintage luggage is, is Samsonite brand. And this is the same model as the last one, just white. And so it has that little stretchy section that covers the top portion. And then it's got the side pockets. This side zipper pocket is lined with plastic so it's kind of more waterproof. And I do like this white, it's really cute. I'm gonna try to get the scuff marks off. And this one is part of a set. This is the smaller suitcase in the set and it already had these L's on it, you guys. It was meant to be, it was meant to be my suitcase. And these are the ones I use the most often and it is also Samsonite. I like this top section. Um, how they've changed it so that it is actually like kind of like a harder top instead of the accordion top and there's plenty of room to pack things in the top part and basically just as much as the bottom and then it's got that nice pocket on there and then a side zipper pocket as well as the straps.
Yeah, and this one was just recently gifted to me by a friend. It belonged to her grandparents, and it is in a little bit of rough shape, but I still think it's really cute and just like kind of a fun piece to have. I will probably will store hats and things in there in my closet. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. I am currently exploring a course by Nathaniel Drew. It's called Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally. And this one is really cool. I have a really bad memory and I feel like I need to be a lot more intentional about documenting things that I would like to remember and look back on later. So I think this is going to be an interesting one and I'm really excited for it. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get 30% off an annual premium membership. So you can explore your creativity. Even if you already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Okay. So the other small blue Samsonite that I showed you is a set with this one. This is the larger piece and those are the two that I use pretty much every time I go on a trip. The other ones are not in as great of shape as these ones and so I don't use them quite. And so these are the ones that I tend to use for like, so these are the ones that I tend to use like actually when I'm going on a trip. These are the suitcases I take. If it's a longer trip, got to take the big one. And if it's just a few days, then I take that smaller blue one. But they're both basically identical. One's just a little bit bigger. It is the Samsonite Silhouette. And I think they are 1960s suitcases. So this is how I pack my things. <laughs> basically, I have in this top section, I told you I was going to Las Vegas. It's going to be in the 90s, between 90 and 100 degrees. And I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the pool. So this is the bathing suit section. <laughs> I am packing quite a few bathing suits. Listen, I'm an overpacker. I know this. I've come to terms with it. It's fine. <laughs> I would much rather have something and not need it then wish that I had something because here's the thing when you dress vintage style it's not like you can just run to the store and grab a petticoat or the thing that you forgot like you know you've got to you've got to be on it so I know I know I know that I overpack and I'm not sorry <laughs> so that being said up here I've got my bathing suits and some undergarments I will also add probably some shoes up here as well in a second. In this pocket I have hair scarves. Uh, I will be rolling my hair probably at least a couple of times on this trip since it's going to be Wednesday through Sunday. So I've got a lot to do. So I've got my hair scarves in here. I've also got my gloves. I will be having a fancy dinner out, so I have gloves for that. And also got to have some masks. Right here I've got my vintage pajamas and I roll them up as tightly as I can as you can see. And then I love these clothing straps. You can just cinch it down and make sure that they all stay nice and neat in place. So probably just like all of you, I decide what I want to wear on my trip based on what it is that I'm going to be doing and then I think of everything I'm going to need for that outfit accessories wise so if I need shoes that go with it specifically I try to only bring like one or two pairs of shoes if possible because that takes up a lot of space and they're heavy so I try not to pack extra shoes if I can get away with the same pair of shoes for at least like half the outfits and then maybe one pair that's fancier that's what I try to do and I know I'm going to be walking around a lot and I also know I'm going to be by the pool a lot so that kind of limits 
the kind of shoes that I can bring. So they're gonna be comfortable and probably mostly casual. All right, let me show you an example of an outfit and the accessories and how I'm gonna pack them in here. I am planning to take this cute sundress and the matching bolero. And I do have some shoes that match it really well that also I think will work with the rest of my outfit. These are the shoes that go with it. They match perfectly and they will also be fine to wear down to the pool, I think. They're sandal-like. So these will work for multiple outfits that I am bringing, thank goodness. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, they are packed in and I could even fit something on top if I need to. Here is the bolero. So I'm gonna fold it in half and we're just going to roll it Okay, so there we go. And wedge it in just like that. And I find that this actually helps with, with not having things be wrinkled. And I feel like I can get a lot more in. So now we're gonna do the dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. you guys can see what I'm doing here. Folding like so, and then I'm gonna roll it. I'm just trying to keep things as flat and nice as possible as I roll, so I'm not rolling a wrinkle into the fabric, if that makes sense. And there we go. So, dress and bolero, got it. So this is actually a wrap dress. Super comfortable, super good for a vacation type dress. Has some nice big pockets as well. So, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here as nice and neatly as I can, and then roll it. Next up is this a beautiful sarong dress. It is vintage, thrifted it, Paradise Hawaii, made in Honolulu. So same idea, we're gonna fold and roll. And this one has some boning, so it might get a little tricky. So right here where the boning is, I'm not gonna roll that, I don't wanna ruin the boning. So, but I'm just going to Fold it like this. Okay. And then it can go right here in the middle. Okay, I mentioned we're doing at least one fancy dinner, so I am bringing my recently thrifted Jonathan Logan dress. So this fabric, I am slightly concerned because it is going to wrinkle pretty easy, I'm afraid. So, but I'm still, I'm going to do my best to roll it. And I'm just trying to like smooth it as I go so that it doesn't have wrinkles that are being created as I'm rolling. I mean, that looks pretty good, I would say. So that goes there. I've already got the gloves for it. I am going to pack different shoes for that one. Do you think I will take these vintage shoes 
to wear with that dress. They're really pretty. They have some rhinestones on them. So let's see if we can make these fit somewhere. Okay. This is how it is looking so far. And next, as you can see, I've kind of got like a similar color palette going on. I do have a lot of the blues because I'm hoping I can wear that same pair of shoes with all three of these outfits. Okay, we're doing good. Still got some room. Can't go wrong with a good sheer day dress. I'm gonna throw that in. So I took the belt off. I'm gonna show you how I packed that in a second. It has a little bit of a more of a skirt, so I just double that over like that and still just roll it. And you can just take your belt, wrap it around, and you've got a nice little bundle. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fancy dress, bathing suits, pajamas, underwear. I do need my vintage undergarments. So I'm gonna grab those. So I've got some seam stockings and then I'm wearing some that are just plain tan seams. So I think that will cover stockings. And then I have some garter belts. I usually try to just take one set, but this time where I'm taking this fancier dress, I'm going to take a corset with it. So I'm taking my black garter belt and a cream colored one as well. Um, corset can go right here. We're gonna make them fit where we can. <laughs> So it's good to have, I think, a light set of undergarments and a dark set. That way you've got your bases covered as far as that goes. <laughs> I also have to pack a strapless bra for the sarong dress. So I'm gonna stick that up here with the bathing suits, perfect. And for this sheer dress, I'm gonna need a slip. So I'll grab a slip. This one is very versatile. I can wear it under this other dress if I need to. Even though I'm gonna be mostly by the pool wearing bathing suits, I wanna have an outfit for each day just in case. And I know that we probably will go out and eat or go shopping at some point during the day. So gotta have that. So I did grab some hair flowers this will work for multiple outfits, this or this or this, and then the orange one for my orange sarong dress that is in there. So I'm gonna take both of those. I have gloves for my fancy dress. I tried to find some jewelry that would kind of go with everything and I feel like I've done that. These bangles match nearly everything. So I'm gonna just stick these in this side pocket right here. I'm wearing my pearl necklace and earrings, which is what I'm gonna wear with my fancy night out dress. So we're good there. This is pretty much going to do it for my main suitcase. And the other one is gonna be my train case for my bathroom stuff. Here's the top, hair scarves and gloves, masks, bottom section. I'm feeling pretty good about this suitcase packing job. Now let's see if we can close it. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> Not even bad, look. And here you have it. Suitcase packed.
let's take a look at this awesome train case. My sweet friend just gave this to me the other day and I'm so excited to use it. It looks so cool. Look at this part. It reminds me of a classic car. I love the shape of the handle. I love this shape right here a lot. So, so you pull these side things and that's how it opens. So cool. It has the mirror intact. It has this lucite, I think it's lucite, um, tray is still intact, which is wonderful. I've already thrown a few things in here, so let's do it. Also, I really love this snaps out. You can pull it out, and so I did so and cleaned it really well. Um, I did put a dryer sheet in there because it had a little bit of an old makeup-y smell. It's fine, though. <laughs> So I think in this top tray, I'm going to put these hair flowers. I've got some lotion. I've got my face wash, vitamins, medicine, etc. right there. I've got some uh, shower caps right here and then a little mending kit. I think I'm just going to stick these in right here. And then any loose bottles, I'm going to also, I think, put in here. So I've got my deodorant hair oil, things that I'm I don't want to like tip or spill, I'm gonna put in there. Gotta have my cold cream. Now I'm gonna start putting things I think in the bottom here. So this is my makeup. I've got makeup, makeup brushes. And I think it's gonna fit perfectly underneath the tray, which is great. So I've also got sunscreen, of course, body wash, um, this is some hair clips and pins. I love this bag sent to me by one of you lovely subscribers. So cute. Okay. And I've got some hair nets. These work wonders, you guys, especially if it's going to be hot. Like, it's that will save your hairstyle for sure. I'll stick it right behind here. Perfect. And I've got some shaving cream. Obviously, like, you would... If you were traveling on an airplane, you would want to get travel size things because they don't let you take these bigger things on, but I am driving. So that is why this is not an instructional how to pack for an airplane for sure. <laughs> it's fitting very nicely. Things that I'm worried about squishing and spilling, I have put them in baggies. So hopefully that will not happen. And I am planning on setting my hair, so I do have some setting lotion in here as well. This is tightly closed. Um, hopefully it's going to be okay. <laughs> Perfect. See, now I don't think it's going to move. This is not going to get pushed, I don't think. So it should be good. Brushes and combs that are going to have to sit somewhere in here. <laughs> that will work just perfectly. And one more lotion. Maybe this will fit right here. Oh, I still have this. Oh no, we're running out of space. What I will do then is take this stuff out of here. And okay, not so bad, not so bad. I feel like I've got it all in. I did have to take it out of that bag, but that's okay. Bathroom stuff, golden. Okay, I'm all packed, eek, and ready to go on a fun trip with the girls for my birthday. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little vintage luggage tour and then a little sneak peek into my packing process. I feel like it was a little scattered. Hopefully it was helpful <laughs> if it was, or if you just enjoyed it while you were watching, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That sure helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for the birthday wishes. It means the world to me and it makes me so happy to see your comments every time on my videos. So thank you for that. If you are new and you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you stick around the vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. I hope that wherever you are in the world that you're feeling safe and feeling loved and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!
Oh no, I'm gonna miss you. Don't be mad. Okay, I wish you could come with me. Should I pack you in my suitcase? Huh? Should I pack you in my suitcase, Jenna Cash? Um. Yeah, you wanna come to Las Vegas? You wanna hang out by the pool with your mommy? <laughs>